Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 12th of April. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extra Jaffair and ECM Ensembles. Maybe I'm trying to complete. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us more or less to the end of April. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just see that first video today was our 6 of UK wind forecast. And we've also released the extended EC30 day. No, please check out all today's videos and content. Thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. Like, share, and subscribe, of course. <coughs> so, sorry, everybody. Everybody. We need to put on around 25 subscribers. That is all to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub, say your friends and family to subscribe, it would be amazing, it would be incredible, and we will thank you so much for doing that. Right, well, we're going to start off with the uh, Central England temperature. Uh, the CT is currently sitting at uh, 9.6, that is 1.7 degrees above the city world dynamic average, that provisional yesterday to the 1st of April. A uh, very mild first day to the month. Uh, by the way, we confirm that March came, oh, my line went wonky, we confirm that March came out at 8.1, which is uh, 2.5 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average, so uh, a very, very mild uh, March, of course, even though it had quite a cold start. And uh, we did come out just above February 7.8 in the end. And as I say, very mild for April for the opening day of the month. 9.6, 1.7 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. We shall see what happens and how that develops in the course of the month. These are the 500 millibar height and anomaly flow charts from Penn State University for the uh, next week to 10 days. We've got the ECMWF on the top and the GFS is down here on the bottom. So 500 millibars, 80,000 feet is an area when the actual high pressure, low pressure being moved around by jetstream running above. Red extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So in the 10 day time frame, you can see that the uh, ECM trying to build up some higher pressure now, actually. A bit of a pattern change here. High pressure building both to the south and also to the east. Starting to lock out this low pressure a little bit in the Atlantic. Still some influence from the jet stream, but much more in the way of higher pressure there from the uh, ECM. Not the case so much for the GFS, though. That one has high pressure to the south and low pressure is in the Atlantic to the north and the winds coming in off the Atlantic a little bit uh, like that. So out of the two, the GFS is by far the most unsettled of the scenarios. <laughs> These are the five hundred. I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. These are the five hundred millibar height of the. Uh, no, what I'm talking about. Just looked at both. No, piece of the <laughs> GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. Red line. I'm all right. Don't worry. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm not been on the magic water. Not yet. Not yet. Not, um, no, so, uh, no, these are your best upgrade temperature and temptation ensembles for the uh, next couple of weeks. Red line is the first year of the air temperature average on London. Starting off above average. Like, you know, very mild into the weekend. Real push up in the temperature. Might, 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 might get temperature to 20 degrees first time uh, this year. And can we say above average with the upper air temperatures through the first half of April? Looks pretty mild. Perhaps a bit of a cooling trend when we push on into the second half of April. That's a long way off. And still regular precipitation spikes as well. More rain to come over the uh, next few days. Possibly going drier into the weekend and the beginning of next week for a while. And then the precipitation coming back as we push on into uh, the course of next week. Overall, quite unsettled there. Temperature anomaly on the second tenth of April. Mild average above average. And precipitation anomalies second tenth of April. Wetter than normal. Latest wind from that from Earth North School dot net shows that we've got an area of low pressure just to the southwest of the country, and more lows are in the Atlantic as well. So uh, further unsettled weather is still to come. Right, let's go through chart day then very quickly. So UK Met Euro run with uh, low pressure coming in for off the Antarctic Friday, but joining up a very mild southwesterly. So that's where the temperature pushes up into weekend. We're turning to the south on uh, Saturday. But it's all low pressure, so it will be further showers, if not longer spells, rain to come over the weekend. And then into next week, some higher pressure just starting to ridge in the Atlantic and starting to edge towards us from uh, the west. So possibly a hint there's uh, something more towards higher pressure next week. 
I kind of get it, looking very mild, but also unsettled on Friday. Southwest winds and low pressure turn southerly with wind into Saturday. Both can be quite warm, but will be further rain to come. And then into Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, same rather unsettled, but very gradually high pressure into the ridge up from southwest. It starts to turn a little bit drier across England and Wales, but could stay a little bit showery to the northwest. But definitely a little, a little bit more. <coughs> Again, definitely a little bit more influence from some higher pressure building up from the uh, southwest into Tuesday. Uh, right, let's have a look at KMA then. So again, that's looking very unsettled through the rest of this week and into the weekend as well, but also mild. Now, next week, we do start to see a trend towards higher pressure. Look at this. High pressure begins to take over quite strongly, actually, through the course of next week. A nice, not just a ridge, but a nice area of high pressure. That would turn it much drier and also potentially uh, a lot more as well. Possibly a hint that the high is breaking down again by uh, the 14th of April, as far as we get to with the KMA. But let's not worry too much about that. Um, let's get the high pressure going first. So we, worry, we worry about it breaking down. GFS midnight run. Again, it's all much of a match issue weekend. Very mild, not quite warm, but unsettled. Into next week, though, another thing or serious road pressure is developing Monday to Tuesday. So no high pressure reaching in the early part of next week. Actually, as we saw on the 500 millibar, high to solid road chart, the GFS midnight run keeping it unsettled right way up to day 10 with more low pressure and rain to come. And the low pressure just keep on coming right to the end of GFS midnight run. That's a look by the time we get to the 18th of April. But as we get to cool and very unsettled with that one. What about GFS 6 then? Again, we've got low pressure just to our west. We're drawing up wing from a southerly direction. So mild, but also unsettled over the weekend. Into next week. Again, today's so very unsettled with further low pressure to come. And the low pressures just keep on coming all the way up to day 10. No real sign of high pressure. And even in, in, in the extended, this next vigorous low sweeping through into the middle of April. Keeping it very unsettled. Wet, winter, but also quite cool. By the very end of a GFS 6, there possibly some higher pressure just starting to ridge in from the uh, southwest. So, possibly signs of a bit of a change there, but it takes a long while to get there with the GFS 6. There. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weather this week. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. 25 subscribers are going to get us to 18.1k. No, if you could give us a sub and tell your friends about to subscribe, it would be incredible. We thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, with low pressure sweeping in profit. Actually, on Friday, very mild, but also unsettled. Saturday, Sunday keeps it unsettled, too. Into next week, signs of higher pressure starting to build. Over GM takes us into a pattern change through next week. By day 10, a nice 1,030 millibar area of high pressure sitting right over the top of the country. Goodness gracious me, that'd be nice. And then the East Yam looks like this. Again, very mild, wet, windy on Friday into weekend. Keeps it unsettled as well, but also mild, if not quite warm. Next week, there's an increasing trend towards higher pressure. But we don't entirely get rid of the Atlantic. However, by days 9, 8, 9, 10, uh, the ECM is raising the heights both to the south and also to the east. It's starting to push this low pressure away to the northwest. Probably still quite unsettled up to day 10 with the ECM, but definite signs of a change anyway for the 12th of April. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibetjo.com. Rain piling up from the south and from the southwest over the uh, next few days. So more unsettled weather to come. Even into the weekend, we keep further bouts of rain coming. And that carries on into next week as well. However, by days uh, 9, 10, uh, just a bit of a sign that things are starting to dry out there as we get toward day 10. Particularly in the south, still rather showery though, up in the north, up to day 10. Means we are on the table in the ECM ensemble day 4, day 10. Gets us 12th of April, 16 months of ECM. Ensembles with high pressure, south low pressure. There's a wave to the northwest, and winds are coming up from southwest direction. So, drying the south, still quite central in the north. That does include the operation run 13 with big area of high pressure right over top of the country, mostly dry and fine. With that, another 13 with high pressure ridging up from the uh, southwest, and that's turning mostly dry and quite uh, mild, if not warm. With that, and then nine with low pressure, way to the northwest, high pressure. To the south, the winds again coming in from the southwest direction, mostly dry in the south, but uh, a little bit more unsettled up in the north. So, 
better at signs there towards higher pressure by day 10. And to each time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets us to 17th of April. Whoops, 17th of April. 21 members of the E set ourselves with low pressure right at the top of country. I think we very unsettled. 15 with low pressure right at the top of country. I think we very unsettled too. And then uh, another 15 with higher pressure uh, ridging from the south to the north. That's going to be mostly dry and should be relatively warm as well. Uh, it's very inconclusive. We might be seeing a trend here towards uh, high pressure around day 10. Whether it lasts very long, that remains to be seen. And then finally, the CFSB2 beats a 500 millibar height and I break down to week pairs. The first week pair takes us from a second fridge to the 8th of April. Next week is unsettled with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Week 2 kinks it unsettled as well. It's the night, the 15th of April. Low pressure again is a dominating the scene. Week 3 is going to be the 16th, 22nd of April. Low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. And then finally, Week four will be the 23rd to 29th of April with high pressure taking over across west, west of Europe. So the CFS taking a long time to get there, but does eventually get us towards some higher pressure by month's end. We'll see. It might happen quicker than that. So let's wait and see. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you share everyone for doing that. One drop comment. Let's see what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys. Well, thanks to everyone for doing that. Uh, 25 subscribers. We'll get us to 18.1k. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Right, so we're going to be, uh, well, we're going to be 6 a.m. forecast for no 10 to 14 day uh, tomorrow. I hope that's all right. We're going to have a day off. On Thursday, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, we'll have a European outlook, and we'll have a 10 to 14 day uh, as well. But tomorrow, the only video will be a 6 a.m. forecast first thing in the morning. You enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and for this video, that's all for now. And thanks so much.